Hi and welcome to the Wishing Shed. So today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little sleeping bunnies. And once you've got the basic body shape, you can even make them so they're sleeping on the side or so they're sleeping on their backs like this. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make one that's sleeping sideways uh, using a stencil sheet and I really hope you enjoy. So firstly we're going to make the body which is this size here and to do that we take some of the core wall about four inches by two inches and we'll roll that up. So I'm rolling it quite tightly just to save time with the felting um, and we just felt with our felting needle. So this is a 36 gauge needle and just felting it all over. So what I'm actually doing now is I want to add more wool around the bottom section which is going to be the bunny's bottom. So I'll do that now. And the back section needs to be arched around. That's the bunny's back. Basically the shape um, for the body to make sure it, it sort of fits in. So I'm just going to shape that a little bit more. So that's basically the body and I'm now going to do the head. So I'm going to roll a little bit of the core wall up for the head. So I've needle felted the, the basic ball, ball shape but as you can see it's way too small so it's, it's not going to look right on our bunny. Um, so I'm going to add more wool around that now. Now we can start adding the features to make the bunny's um, head look more than just a ball. So I'm going to make two, take two small amounts of the wool and sort of try and get them as even as you can to start with and I'm going to roll two little cheeks, sort of the thickness of the tip of my finger and lightly felt. So this is still using the core wool. One and Two. and then so the eye needs to go the cheek needs to go just at the bottom here so we keep our eye area thin at the top of the head so I'm going to felt that on to give him some chubby cheeks if you can see just the bottom section of the head and felt that on And I'm going to look from the front to make sure I get the cheek sort of evenly positioned. So we don't want the cheek to go onto the nose area. We're keeping that. We're keeping that thin. This is just literally going beneath where the eye is going to go. And don't worry about these joins because we're going to cover those in a minute. And shape it around. So there's our cheek. So, so look again from the front. So we're going to make a little nose which goes 
over the forehead as well. Um, so I'm just going to create a tiny, I'm folding it in half. And then we want to create a little triangle nose. So fold one half over and the other half over and felt. So I'm going to add the, the nose on now. Um, so there's the point and I need to felt the point on like so. And needle felt it up the whole of the head onto the top section. And now we're going to put on two tiny little um, balls here to define the mouth area. And now I'm going to just attach those either side of the point um, just below. So there's our point and then we just felt that below there. Now what we want to do is to bring this nose a little bit, just slightly so it's overlapping the cheeks. So just pulling it, the point, a tiny bit and tucking these, I don't really see, hopefully you can, tucking the little front part of the cheeks under the point like so. Right, so now we're going to make the little mouth at the bottom. So I'm just going to use a tiny bit of wool again and roll another little ball. And I'm going to just measure it against, you don't want a great big um, mouth. This is a little chin that goes underneath. So I uh, just felt that flat. Like so. And then once it's flat, we just felt it underneath the little, the little front cheeks, the little front bit of the mouth, and felt around the edges, carefully minding your fingers, both sides like so, and felting both sides underneath. And I'm keeping the front section open, so it's the little... The little mouth like that is open. That's good. So don't worry about if you have these joins, like I say, because we're going to cover those now. Going to make sure, yeah, it looks good against the body. And now what we're going to do is add the top colours on. So I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm going to do uh, the colours for this wild rabbit, which is like a grey, um, brownie colour bunny but that's the colours I'm doing that's the, the one that's available um, as a kit in my shop if you'd like to have a go at making your own little bunny or you can do your own colours and um, this one is done just using browns so to start with we're going to cover the head um, and we're going to use the white and we're going to literally just really thin it out and cover the whole of the front just lightly so it should be thin enough that you can still see the detail of the core sort of through it and we're going to felt that on around the sides, like so.
So don't waste time felting the white all over the top of the head on this one if you're doing a grey or brown bunny because that's going to be covered. But if you're doing a white bunny all the way over then obviously, you know, just felt nicely all the way over the top with your, with your white. They have this lovely golden colour and they always put sort of light colours on first, light then dark and then you can put light on top of the dark again like for lighter greys and things but I always start with the under colour first and in this case it's this lovely golden um, brown. So we're going to put that, that's too much, you don't need hardly any at all really. Um, and put that down over the top of the, the nose and felt that onto the nose. And it's going to just lightly go onto the cheeks as well. other side of the face on cheek down onto the cheek and just lightly onto the the front cheeks just to give a nice bit of contrasting color and I'm going to spread this out very thinly again and um, cover it over the whole of the um, eye area down keeping the, ch the bottom of the cheek white and keeping the very front of the mouth area white. So we're literally just adding a fine layer of this lovely grey going right over the head. Don't worry too much about the back of the head for now because we're going to cover that again later when we attach it to the body. So this is just adding, just adding our grey over the goldeny tan colour. Eyes. And felt the cheek area around a bit more to define it. Now you've got your grey on. So there's our cheek area and it follows all the way down to the nose. Should be a nice line running through like so and do the same to the other side. Nice line running all the way through around to the back of the head. There's our eye, there's our puffy cheek. Good. So now we're going to put a bit of white detail again over the eye. Again, you don't have to do this. The colour choice is yours. If you've just got a plain white bunny, then you can just put the move to the next step, which is putting the actual sleeping eyes in. But I'm going to put a bit of white detail on first. Just So I'm teasing some of the dark brown wool um, backwards and forwards in between my fingers and this is going to be our little bunny's sleeping eye. You can use black wool or you could even sew in um, a stitch to create the sleeping eyes but I think this gives a nicer effect. And then I'm going to trim the excess off and tuck that in like so so that's one sleeping eye and I'm going to do the same on the other side so I'm going to use a slightly lighter brown to define the V shape of the nose Now for the mouth, you can actually colour that in if you want it a uh, little pink mouth, but I'm going to put some, a tiny bit of pink wool in there. Right, so I'm going to move on to making the legs now. I've put the head aside. Um, so we're going to start with the front legs. And we've got our stencil sheet here. And the best way... I think to get the the right um, size to start with, if 
you sort of just roll it, roll your core wall and sort of pull it along and roll till you get the sort of rough amount. Amounts and we felt them all over. So we want our pores to be sort of rounded at the end. Again, don't worry about any joins because we're going to cover those in a minute. We want Keep felting until they firm up quite a lot. Right, so checking against the stencil sheet with the legs, we want to bend this area here and create a thicker top section. So you can either cut the wall there and add a bit more core wool around the top and felt it on but I'm just going to keep the bottom part of the leg thinner felt that over and felt that together and I'm going to do that for both legs so now we wrap the bottom part of the foot with um, some of the white very very small amount because you don't want them to be chunky legs you want to keep them quite thin so it's just so you can see the cream through it and it doesn't matter if you have some that is completely not covered with the white so we've got the cream showing again I think it just gives it a more realistic look And then I'm going to add a bit more around the top section of the leg, the shoulder. Not too worried about the very top because that's going to be covered in grey in a minute. So just covering the rest of the leg. So I'm going to put those aside and now do the back legs using some more of the core wool. Um, so it's basically just the back foot and a tiny bit of going up into the leg because you've got a separate thigh area so two feet and we roll keeping an eye on the thickness so we just want to bear in mind that we need a little bit of wall to go up into the bottom of the back leg So if you felt back on the um, very ends of the feet now, it will give it a sort of nice little arched foot, like these are the little toes that are curled under. So we just felt the very tips back, which gives a nice sort of arch to the little feet, like so, like we've done on this one just gives a nice little detail to the end of the foot right so I can tell by the stencil sheet now that there's my little foot and I need to actually add more wool here to thicken this area up so that I can attach the thigh now we've made the back feet we're going to make the thighs for the back legs so just using a little bit of the core wall and getting an idea of how much you need before you start and then I can felt that I'm going to get the, another amount as well 
So the other one. the um, base of the, the foot here and just felt it on. Need to attach it quite so it's secure so attach it quite firmly so that it doesn't come off. I like to turn it over and felt both ways so through the back as well as through the front like so. Those now in some white to cover the joins and make them look pretty. Starting around the ankle area and just put using a very small amount of top coat wrapping around and around the toes and felting on. Ready? But that looks pretty good. You can roll carefully roll the foot area between your two fingers just to smooth that out. You don't want to misshapen um, the side though, but if we just can roll and felt the feet. That's one, I'll do the other one. Right, so that's all our legs, front and back, wrapped in white. And now we're going to put on a little bit of the golden detail before we attach the legs and um, because it's just easier to add it now onto the feet. So I'm um, just going to felt some of the gold on. Felting and the wall, the tan wall onto the front paws. I'm going to put some white around part of the body, around the front section here, the tummy. Okay, so now we're going to make the ears using some brown merino cross wool and we're going to just fold it. We want them quite thin, so we're just going to take some off, get a rough idea of how much you need first. Um, so you don't need a lot at all. And then we want to shape them following the shape um, on your stencil sheet or a photo, if you look at photos of rabbits. So we just want to shape the ears. One. You can even um, draw around a template and, and do it that way if you want them to be exactly the same. So if you lift and carefully turn over and lightly felt the fibres back through on the other side so they're not as fuzzy. And then we're going to put a little bit of um, pink merino into the centre of each ear. Then we just trim off any excess um, fuzz on the back. You can pinch the ears just to shape them a bit more as well, like that. Okay, it's so one. Pinch. Good. 
Okay, so now we're going to attach the ears to the head using this little bit of excess fibre at the bottom. Uh, you can sew them onto the head as well if you want to, but they usually um, stay on pretty well just from needle felting the fibres through. So you want to position the head. Um, so you want to position the ears at the top of the head just at an angle from the corner of the eye and from the front sort of just above the eye so if we get that position so above the eye and to the back in at an angle and just felt the, felt the fibers through to anchor them on Right, so I'm just going to felt some of the grey, just a tiny amount, slightly into the ear and all the way around, just to really secure the ears onto the head, like so. So now we're going to make the tail and then we can start attaching it all together. So we just felt the tail. And then I'm just going to roll it a little bit at the bottom. And fold. I'm going to leave the top ends quite fluffy and just felt the bottom section that's going to be um, attached to the body. And I'm going to add a bit of brown detail to the top side of the tail. So we're going to position that on and um, at a slight angle and we use some core wool first. Again, you can add a stitch here and sew it down through if you want a more secure hold. But this does work pretty well. You don't have to sew at all. So, and we go up onto the back of the head once you've got the right position and down into the body to secure the head into place like so. I like to get the head on first and then the legs after. So I'm felting slightly up into the head from the back as well and you can put some more core wool um, pretty much wherever you like around the back and um, just to secure it on going up into the head and down into the body so I'm sort of felted through the bend here just to give the leg a bit of shape and we're going to attach just by the head so just about halfway down to the cheek like so um, I'm going to do the other leg first, the one, the other leg underneath. It doesn't matter which goes where, they're both the same size. So, felt down through the bend. So, position the leg just at the top of your body shape and felt into place. Again, you can sew if you like, but I'm not going to. Instead, it's good just to put a bit of core wool over the shoulder area and into the body and we're going to cover that with some grey wool in a minute. So now we're going to position the other leg and you want the top of the shoulder just to be about halfway through the cheek and we just felt that on. Now I'm going to put the back legs on. I want to make the feet first a little more arched so I'm just going to felt, hold and felt through the bend 
like so, just to create a little curled up feet. And then we attach the thigh to the back end of the body, like so. Felt all the way through. And then we turn over and we position the other leg the same way. So I'm going to felt that first. Curl up the feet. Okay, so I'm happy with that position and now just going to add a tiny bit more um, of this golden colour. We're going to layer on the top coat to finish our bunny. Again, you don't need much wool at all, and um, we're just going to layer it over the gold. So covering the tops of the shoulder on the other side and the thigh with the grey, slightly down onto the thigh, felting that on. Okay, so now we're just going to felt some of the grey wool around the back onto the, onto the shoulder and up onto the head and I'm going to come slightly around the ear and onto the face just a little bit like so It's, um, this is actually um, Manx top, a natural fibre top and it's, it's lovely for uh, animals, it's, it's quite a natural soft brown and I'm just going to put a little bit down onto the forehead like so, I'm going to felt that on. of the brown, just in areas to enhance the shape of the thigh. Spread it out a little bit so it's not all clunked together. Um, and then you could put a little bit around the shoulder to emphasize that, around the face, which is what I've done on this one. So we've just put a little bit more around that area and I think they look really lovely and like I say you can do little bunnies, um, white bunnies or just change the positions of the legs and the back so that they aren't flat and you can have little bunnies that um, sleep on their backs and put them in little baskets and they make wonderful gifts um, or Christmas decorations or Easter decorations are perfect all year round really. So the last thing to do is to felt the tail on.
So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and see you again soon.